Hi guys, uh, here is Hani. I'm from Luzhna Podcast Studio and I'm a sub visioner since uh, 2015. Uh, today we are going to find more about Firefox Relay and how to use it. If you have any questions during the presentation, just note them and we'll go through them and then. Uh, going through today's agenda, we're starting with the purpose. Uh, we all felt alert to platform and petition that asked for our personal information. And we asked ourselves, is, is it critical to provide that information? And if the requester is trustworthy in the uh, first place. So basically, if something looks off, it's not worth the risk. Firefox Relay makes it easier to shield your personal email by creating aliases that forward to your inbox, keeping your actual email address private. The main idea behind the service is, is simple. Instead of using your own email address on the internet, for example, sign up, uh, for, uh, sign up for services or leave a comment on a site or for online shopping, you use an alias provided by Firefox Relay. An alias forwards any email to the real email address. Aliases may be deleted or disabled at any time so that unwanted emails won't reach your user's email address anymore. Uh, <clears throat> Mozilla revealed Firefox uh, Relay as experimental servers to protect emails of email addresses through the creation of aliases in May 2020. The service was an uh, invite only at the time, but is now available to anyone who wants to give it a try. Firefox is now open beta state and it's called Firefox Relay and it's available globally. A Firefox, a Firefox account is required to sign up for Firefox Relay and Firefox users may install the companion extension to better integrate the service into the browser and improve the generation of aliases. Uh, for future plans, we are, going, we are going to go through future plans later in the presentation. Uh, we have manually tested the service in Cognizant Subvision. We have followed a normal life cycle and we started with Requirements analysis, test planning, test risk creation, test execution, and test circle closure. We offered continuous support from early phases. Uh, functional and non-functional testing were performed on multiple cycles on the add-on. Testing efforts are now focused on sanity and regression testing since no major milestone is expected in the near future. One of the challenges we faced uh, while testing the add-on was to catch the modification that the add-on could bring to different websites. So we followed a strategy of verifying only on top access to websites. Another challenge we faced, the emails were not forwarding to the inbox or the aliases couldn't be created. Since we offered a continuous support, these issues were catched in early phases and were fixed and verified afterwards. Uh, so let's start with the fun part to show how exactly it's done. So basically you can start by accessing uh, addons.mozilla.org and search for Firefox Relay. You have to add uh, Firefox Relay uh, to your Firefox. And from this welcome page, you can sign up or sign in. But since uh, I have already an account, I'm just going to sign in. So from uh, Firefox Relay website, you can generate a new alias. So once you clicked on the generate new alias, you have under the new generated alias. And you have up there displayed the number of remaining aliases. So uh, in the beginning, you have just five remaining alices. And at the plan, maybe for the future, to have more than five uh, alices. So uh, for every alias, you can add an account name to better organize your generated aliases. So if, for example, for this one, I have named it test. And um, from here, you can disable email forwarding for this alias. 
by clicking on it. And by clicking back, you can enable forwarding uh, to this Alice. You have displayed the number of email Alice's blocked or number of email forwarded. You can use this email by clicking on uh, click to copy and use it anywhere on the web. By clicking on show details, you can see the date uh, when the Alice was created and the email uh, from where all the emails will be forwarded. Uh, by clicking on delete Alice, you have to be careful. Once you delete this Alice, it cannot be recovered. Firefox Relay will no longer forward messages sent to the, de to the deleted Alice. If you use this Alice to log in to sites you care about, you should update your login with a different email address before you delete this one. Another way to use the add-on is by accessing, accessing any website you want to, to create an account, for example. So we'll go to the credit.com, for example. And by clicking on sign up, you can see the uh, Firefox Lily button displayed here. So yeah, so you can generate an email address by clicking on the button and generate new Alice, or by clicking on the context menu and, click and create a new Alice from here. So uh, it's also displayed the number of Alice's you, 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 uh, you still have in your account. Uh, by clicking on generate new, new Alice, the email field will be populated and also accessing the Firefox relay Will, you will gonna see that email generated is displayed here and also the site from where you generate the alias. Uh, another thing uh, you can uh, see by clicking on the Firefox Delivery add-on, you can see also the remaining uh, alices you have. And by clicking on Manage Alices, you will be redirected to Relay Firefox uh, website. So basically the difference between the website and the add-on, from the website, you can uh, only use the email generated by clicking uh, copy and paste it anywhere you want. And from the add-on, you have the possibility to, to create an alias directly on the website. On both website and the add-on, you can see the number of aliases remaining from here or from the website. Uh, one of the tricks you can do on the Firefox Relay website is basically rename any Alice by the way you want. And you have the possibility also, if you don't want uh, this button to be displayed on the website, by, dis by disable it. By clicking on settings, show relay icon, and click on disable. After refreshing the page, the, the, the button is not displayed anymore. So, oh, just a second. Okay, so I've, I've looked up through the most commonly asked questions. Uh, is Relay available only in the US? The site currently only in, available in English, but you can use the service anywhere. Uh, what about spam? While Relay does not filter false spam, Firefox Relay partner Amazon does block spam and malware. If Relay forwards messages you don't want, you can update your Relay settings to block messages from the aliases forwarding them. Can I reply to message using Relay alias? Relay does not yet offer the ability to reply using an alias. If you try, nothing will happen. The plans are to add an additional feature to let you reply anonymously to senders. Can I make up my own Relay Alice using uh, at, uh, at relay.firefox.com domain? Not currently, but Firefox uh, Relay team are considering new features, including letting you create your own Alice with a designed domain. Why won't a site accept my Relay Alice? Some sites may not accept a Relay Alice that includes a subdomain. 
and others have stopped accepting all addresses except those from Gmail, Yahoo, or Hotmail accounts. As Firefox really grows in popularity and issues more addresses, our server, our service might be placed on a block list. If you are not able to use a relay alias, please let us know. What happens if Mozilla shuts down the Firefox Relay service? Firefox Relay team will give you an advanced note so that you need to change the email address of any account that you are, that are using Relay aliases. What if an email sent to my alias containing an attachment? Attachment and emails larger than 150 kilobytes are not currently supported and will not be forwarded to your real email address. If an email containing an attachment is smaller than 150 kilobytes, the email will be forwarded without an attachment. So Firefox Relay is a cool add-on to use and bring numerous advantages, but it comes with a price that some websites may not accept an email address that includes a subdomain. So if you have any questions, just hit me up. Uh, I can be contacted at uh, honeyyakub around mozilla.com. I can be able to answer any of your questions, any of your questions regarding the Firefox Relay add-on. And thank you for watching.